All right, guys, you may have seen our video from a couple of weeks ago covering the basics of our NFT metrics. And now I'm happy to give a more comprehensive look at our more advanced metrics involving the many NFT metrics and data points that we now have offered on Santiment. Uh, I'll show you some of the basic metrics that we can look at as well as some of the more advanced together. And you can understand through what we're looking at uh, exactly what is uh, relevant to your trading strategies with NFTs in terms of how you'd like to approach buying and selling them, looking up different contract addresses, uh, finding the high versus low price points and when there might be a bargain deal happening, things like that. So beginning here, um, I wanted to show you the contract transaction count, contract interacting address count, and the NFT social volume. Um, and we have a template that I am sharing in the description of this video that lets you look at all three of these together. And it's very interesting uh, what kind of uh, alpha you may be able to find just by looking uh, through some of the data for some of your favorite contract addresses. You can clearly see when NFT social volume is high here, uh, interacting addresses tend to correlate with that, of course, and transaction count does as well to an extent. Sometimes they may diverge versus one, one of over one another a little bit, as we can see here with the contract interacting addresses, though. Um, so we definitely have plenty of uh, different NFTs we can look through on Sandbase to understand where specific addresses are interacting most. I'll touch on that in a couple upcoming slides here. Um, an example is the Azuki NFT collection research template that we have here. And you can actually look at the minimum, maximum daily prices of the NFT collections, uh, the daily price of the NFT collection, and the NFT social volume all together. And we've got these little fire emojis to show when there was uh, a huge spike in social volume right after the max price of the NFT was traded. Um, so that's something that can be very handy for you in the NFT world. And as I scroll down here, we can also look, of course, at the NFT social volume, the daily trade count of NFT collections together. You'll find some very useful information there. Uh, the contract transaction count and the interacting transaction count, as well as NFT social volume, uh, which I already showed back here. We have all of these together on one template. That link is also in the description here. And then we can also look at the actual NFT influencers transactions page, which is right here on our dashboard section. You open it up and you'll be able to see the influencer, their activity, the NFT collection name, the actual hash, uh, transaction hash and the transaction from and to addresses for the NFT, uh, how long ago it was, the price, the quantity, and of course the marketplace. And many of these you can actually sort um, and go by lowest to highest price. So we can look up one, I had preset the Fluff World eggs um, and we can look at exactly how much social volume there was, uh, the contract interacting address count, uh, plenty of things that you can find just by looking up one particular category of NFTs uh, and find a lot there under the collection name. You can also, of course, if you don't know the contract address, type into Google something like the Azuki contract address, have it pop up, you'll be taken to the Etherscan page. You can then copy that, go to our search page here. Um, this is basically just our regular app.sentiment.net slash charts page. Open up the tab, paste in the address, and then search for it, and you'll see it automatically pop up for you. Uh, sometimes it may take a while. We won't wait for it to load since you already saw the Azuki stuff back here. Uh, but I wanted to show just how easy it is to look up an address, whatever contract address you need to find, and then just copy it from Etherscan, type it into Sandbase, and you should be good to go in just uh, anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds, I found usually. Uh, moving on. You can also spy on NFT influencers, which is really cool. So we can go back here and you can look at actual specific Twitter influencers. I can control click here. It'll automatically pop up their Twitter. 
that should be very useful if you want to see exactly what they're tweeting about, what they may be promoting, talking about, etc. Uh, to really see where you can find some nice deals right off the bat. Pranksy, another big one that many of you may know, 421,000 followers, pretty crazy, more than Santiment's Twitter right now. Yeah, so we covered the NFT and influencer sorting, collection name, uh, looking at the transactions, you can control, uh, control click and instantly see the historical balance. But depending on the address, uh, you may be able to instantly find uh, some alpha in terms of what they're owning. You can even get like the money infographic. Uh, there's a lot to uncover there. And then we did a, a case study, I said, on a Zuki, uh, which would be back here. And we talked about how you can find uh, major alpha for stuff like this. I recommend using it as a guide for many other NFTs where you'll often see uh, max prices when they were traded. You'll instantly see a spike in social volume, sort of similar to emerging trends. You, you might see kind of... Uh, um, overvaluation when uh, something is really hot and being talked about a lot. Um, and it, it could be better, you know, when you see like a min price spike or something like that. Uh, but regardless, I, I really recommend checking that out. You'll also notice that social activity and on-chain volume have a pretty nice uh, correlation with one another and can show how healthy this correlation is at any given moment or how, how healthy the collection is, I should say, at any given moment. Um, I definitely recommend you check out these tools for yourself and discover some of the new NFT collections that Santiment has data on. There's quite a lot you can look through. If you need to know the address, it's really as simple as just dropping the uh, address into Google and looking up what it is here on Etherscan, hitting that copy button, and then coming right back to Sandbase and putting in any address you want, just like you would put in an asset traditionally for Bitcoin or anything else here. Uh, I'll just put it in the bar one more time so you can see it'll automatically pop up Azuki ERC721. Um, I could even click on Azuki and it'll just pop up right there. Pretty handy. Uh, so I recommend you guys check this out. Let me know what you guys think. If you have questions, don't forget to drop them in our Discord general channel. You can even email support at santimid.net. Get in touch with us on Intercom, and we're always here to help you. Hope this was helpful, guys, and I will talk to you soon.